Coming to you live from the 305. What's up guys, my name is Johan Lorenzo and in today's video, I'm gonna give you guys an update on my $160,000 dividend portfolio. The portfolio is generating a pretty decent amount of passive income each and every single month through dividends. We're gonna go over what positions I've been adding to heavily to increase my monthly income. And before the video's over, I'm gonna share with you guys a few companies I've been looking at and I've had on my radar for a few weeks. And I think I'm gonna start adding them to the portfolio here pretty soon. Before we get started, all I ask of you is to please like this video by smashing the thumbs up button so that way YouTube can help spread this video out to the people who are interested in learning about the stock market. Without further ado, let's get into the video. My last portfolio update was a little over a month ago. And as you can see now, the portfolio has grown over $30,000 since that video. And this is mainly because I've been adding a ton of money to grow several positions in my portfolio. And on a quick side note, guys, I've mentioned this before, but I want to remind you all. I love dividend growth investing, but I'm also a very big fan of trading options. And I'll sometimes day trade from time to time as well. So I guess you can say I'm a mixed bag of sorts, but I really like this strategy because it allows me to take the profits I've made through options trading and reinvest them into my dividend portfolio. And that's the goal here, guys. You want your money to work for you harder than you work for it. You know what they say, money don't sleep. So when you see me adding $30,000 a month to my dividend portfolio on back-to-back -back months, just know that a lot of that money comes from trading options. And I'll be making a video on that next week. So if you're down to make some quick cash and want to learn how, subscribe to the channel and stay tuned because I'm gonna start rolling out a few videos that will help you generate some extra cash to stuff into your long-term dividend portfolio. So with all that said, let's dive right into my portfolio and see what has changed since the last update in June. And if you guys want to compare this update to the last one, I'll leave a link down in the description below so you guys could check it out. So as you can see, I have 14 positions in this portfolio. Some of you might see $160,000 and only 14 positions and think, why do you only have 14 positions or why don't you diversify your portfolio more? Well, the answer to that is, it's a work in progress. I prefer building solid positions with a good amount of shares. So that way, when I receive a dividend payment from a company, it's actually a decent payment that packs a punch. It doesn't make sense to me to have 40 different companies in my portfolio and own 10 shares of each company. The dividend payments would be so small, it wouldn't be worth the headache to keep up with. But I am planning to add more companies to this portfolio. I'll slowly start introducing a few companies in different sectors where I don't have any exposure to yet, like the industrial sector, for example. I just wanted to fatten these positions up first, which reminds me, I need to add shares to Johnson & Johnson and Medtronic. So. Taking a look at one of the biggest differences since the last update is the addition of the Clorox company, ticker symbol CLX. I currently own 50 shares of Clorox and I'll definitely be adding more shares on a month to month basis. With the rumors of the Roni Rona still lingering around and the stock being heavily discounted right now, I feel very good buying more shares of the company and growing this position to over 100 shares. With that being said, now that we mentioned the Roni Rona situation, there seems to be a lot of fear in the market right now. Articles keep popping up about the Roni getting worse. Other headlines are talking about a market crash coming. Well, I'm not shook one bit and I'm preparing for it. In the event that it does happen and we do get a market crash, I will be firing away and loading the boat with stocks that are at a fraction of the cost. And if you haven't already noticed, I've been adding heavily to my position with Southern Company, ticker symbol SO. Southern Company is a utility company which means 99% of the people living in the United States will still pay their electric bill to keep the lights on during a recession. You might cancel your subscription with Netflix and you might not take any vacations or stay at any fancy hotels, but you're most likely gonna continue paying your electric bill because it's a necessity. And for that reason, utilities are recession resistant, which means they don't get hit as hard as other companies in different sectors. They might still fall a bit in price, but their earnings will be pretty steady because the demand for their service is still high. So right now, I own 240 shares of Southern Company, and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon, to be honest. Every chance I get, if I see a good dip throughout the week on this stock, I'll grab a handful of shares and continue to improve my average price per share. That's basically what I've been doing with this portfolio. I plan to own these companies for many years to come. So when I wake up and I see a few positions are in red, I simply add to those positions. There's no science to it. If a position gives me the opportunity to improve it and grow it, I will do just that. Obviously, unless there's a major problem with the company, then I'll have a different route to take. But if everything is all good and dandy, 
I'm buying shares on the dip. Here is my monthly dividend income now. It has grown quite a bit and I'm very excited to see how it's gonna look by the end of the year. My short-term goal for the end of the year is to receive $750 monthly. I still have a lot of work to do, but it's definitely possible. So remember, my goal here is to continue investing money into this portfolio. Every dollar that I invest into this portfolio will generate me some sort of income. And that's the main goal. I wanna be able to generate a big enough income that one day my living expenses will be covered every month by my dividend income. This is a great form of passive income and it will give me more free time to do the things that I love to do while living life on my own terms. So if you haven't gotten the big picture, I'm basically buying income. That will eventually buy me time in the future. Every time I put money into my dividend portfolio, I'm basically buying income because that money's gonna pay me consistently every month. And that's what it's about. For the everyday hardworking person, with this strategy, it's gonna take you a few years to really see the rewards. That's a fact. But the years are gonna pass you by anyway. I feel like the last five years of my life have gone by in the blink of an eye. And I'm sure a lot of you feel the same way. But unfortunately, we're living in an era where a bunch of people want 12 minute abs and they wanna become multimillionaires overnight. There are zero shortcuts to success, ladies and gentlemen. And once you come to terms with that, it will make this task of building a large dividend portfolio a lot easier. There's no such thing as 12 minute abs. You have to eat right and you gotta work your butt off in the gym so you can burn body fat and build muscle. The same goes with investing. There's no get rich quick scheme. And sure, some people put their entire life savings into some coin and they might have gotten lucky and hit a jackpot with it. But guess what? Those chances are slim to none. People go to the casino and hit jackpots there too. Are you gonna go take $10,000 to the casino and put it into a slot machine? Probably not. So with that being said, I've been looking at three more positions I really wanna to add to this portfolio. And they are the following. Lockheed Martin, Procter & Gamble, and number three, the Schwab United States Dividend Equity ETF, better known as ticker symbol SCHD. These three positions are a very safe and reliable source of income that will generate me more money and help me diversify my portfolio a bit more. I will keep you guys updated in the near future when I start these positions. Don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I wanna thank you all for watching and if you have any questions, drop them down in the comments below. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!